consider this situation. Imagine you have friends. Well, imagine. Well, everyone knows programmers do not have friends. So you have a house. Also imagine. Let's say you have five friends. And there are various roads you can take from your house to their houses. But each road takes some amount of time. And you want to be as efficient as possible. So you want to find the shortest path from your house to all other houses. In a real world, you'd probably not go out of your house right now because there's a pandemic. Well, but programmers never go out of their house anyway. So in this hypothetical situation, how would you find the shortest path? For that, we will use this algorithm created by the computer scientist known as uh, the ditch ta. Dijkstra, Dijkstra. So I have numbered the houses from 0 to 5. Now this is a classic undirected weighted graph. And if you do not know what these words mean, I don't know, drop a like and let me know in the comments. So the algorithm starts by declaring a list of unvisited houses. Initially all the houses are unvisited. We also create a list of distances of all the houses from our starting house house 0 in this case. And since the distance of house 0 to itself is 0, we put that down and set all other distances as infinity. Now we start visiting the houses. Our first stop is of course the starting house, which is house 0. So I take it off the unvisited list and also mark it red so that we know it's been visited. Now we see all its neighboring houses, house 1 and house 2. We will update their distances only if the distances are smaller than the existing ones. For house 1, the distance from house 0 is 2, which is less than the existing value infinity. And similar for house 2. So we update these values. And we are done with house 0. Now let's look at the list of unvisited houses and see which house has the smallest distance. That will be house 2. So we visit house 2. Again, I take house 2 off the unvisited list and mark it red. I also mark the path red so that we remember which path we took. Now the neighboring houses of house 2 are house 1 and house 3. Let's update the distance of house 1. So what is the distance of house 1 from house 0 following the path we have already taken? So first we move from 0 to 2. That takes 1 minute. And then from 2 to 1. That takes 3 minutes, so a total of 4 minutes, which is of course bigger than the existing 2. So we do not update the distance and move on to house 3. Again the distance of house 3 is 1 minute for going from 0 to 2 and 2 minutes for going from 2 to 3, a total of 3 minutes. And 3 is of course less than infinity. So we update the distance of house 3. Now house 1 has the smallest distance among the unvisited ones. So we move there. For house 1, the neighboring ones are house 2 and 3. Now for house 2, the new distance is 2 plus 3, 5, which is bigger than the existing one. For house 3, it is 2 plus 5 equals 7, which is also bigger than the existing 3. So we make no change. And now we visit house 3. And here are the new distances for the neighboring houses. As you can see here, for house 1 it is 8, for house 2 it is 5, for house 4 it is 6, and for house 5 it is 7. So we only update house 4 and 5, because all the others are bigger than the existing distances. Then we visit house 4 because it has the smallest distance among the unvisited ones. And it has no neighboring houses, so nothing to do here. And finally we visit house 5, there is nothing to do here anymore and the algorithm finishes. And you can see in our table we have got the list of shortest distances from house 0 to every other house. So the distance of house 0 from house 0 is 0, the distance of house 1 from house 0 is 2, 
the distance of house 2 from house 0 is 1 and so on. Now that we know the algorithm, let's write the code. We will use C++ for this example. And if you do not like C++, subscribe to my channel and give me a comment so that I can write this algorithm in other languages also. So I will start by including the headers. So IO stream for the input and output, limits for getting the biggest number that can be stored in an integer, vector because of course using arrays is stupid and algorithm for fill function. So this is our main function, let's start writing the program. So inside the main function I will first define the graph. So the graph will be a two dimensional vector, so a vector of vector of integer. This is the adjacency matrix form of the graph. And this is our example in graph form. So this is basically a matrix of 6 cross 6 size. And the entry at the ith row and jth column denotes the distance of house j from house i. And since it is undirected, you can see that it is a symmetric matrix. Anyway, now we call the function Dijkstra on this graph and we also pass the starting index which is 0. This function will contain our algorithm, so let's write this function. So this will be a void function, it will accept one vector of vector of integers and one integer. Now we start by taking the number of houses which will be the size of the vector. We declare two vectors, so the first one is a vector of integer which will store all our distances and the second one is a vector of boolean which will store the list of unvisited houses or basically it will denote if we have visited the house or not. Now we fill those two vectors, so we fill the first vectors, the distance vector with the maximum amount an integer can store. So for that I will use the numeric limits class with the integer type and call the max function which will give us the maximum value an integer can store. And we will fill the second vector with false. So initially all the houses are unvisited. And also we set the first distance to 0 as we saw in the algorithm. Now we create a for loop. So this for loop will run for each house and inside this for loop we will write the algorithm code. So let's see what happens inside the for loop. So I first take the minimum distance among all the houses which are unvisited. So for that I call a function called min distance and pass the distance array and also the visited array or the vector I should say. But this function is not written yet so let's write it. So this function will accept an vector of integer and a vector of boolean and will return an integer. So this is easy. So we create a variable called min and start it by giving the maximum value an integer can store and also create a value variable called min index. So basically we just want to find the house that has the minimum distance among all the distance arrays but also is unvisited. So now we loop over all the houses in the distance vector and so we see if it is not visited yet and its distance is less than the minimum distance we update the minimum distance and we also store its index to the min index variable so when the for loop is over we will have the index of the house with the minimum distance so we return that now that we have the index of the house with minimum distance, it's time to visit it. So we mark it as visited. And then we loop over all the other houses. So basically this is the loop where we check for the neighboring houses. So for simplicity I am looping over all the houses and I will check if they are neighboring or not. So here I have to create an if statement. Now this if statement will contain quite a few conditions. So first we have to check if the house is visited or not, so if it's already been visited we do not care about it anymore. We also check if the graph contains an edge among these two houses or not, so basically they are neighboring or not. So if graph ui is 0, it means that these two houses are not neighboring, so we do not care about them. We care about them only if this distance is non-zero, which means they have a path between them or an edge between them. 
Finally, we check if the distance of this current house is infinity or not. Basically, this check is necessary because in the next condition, I am going to add something to this distance. And if it was infinity and I added something to it, it would overflow and it might become less than distance of i. So we do not want that. This is why we are first checking if distance of u is infinity or not. So if it's not infinity, we add the distance between u and i and check if it is less than the existing distance for i or not. So if it is less than the existing distance for i, we update the distance of i with the new distance. So now that our for loop is done, it's time to just print out the distances because our algorithm is over. So I am basically just printing the index of the house and the distance. And if I run it, I'll get the same output as I did before. So there you have it, Dijkstra's algorithm explained. If you like this video, please consider subscribing to my channel. And if you have any feedback, any suggestion, feel free to drop a comment. But also don't forget to like because that is really necessary.